Today, I'm going to showcase you a customized Lego Battle Royale made in Fortnite Creative. This is 1.0 map, but I converted it to UEFN just to do like finishing touches and polish it more with like UI and stuff, which I will showcase soon. So let's start with Spawn Island. There's technically two. There's a Boo Buddy Spawn Island. If you don't know what Boo Buddy is, it's basically the team that made this or like my team. Now, I want to clarify in the credits, so big shout out to these guys and the sound effects I got this from. I believe it was from freesound.org. I'll leave a link in the description and where I got like sound effects and all that. But not everyone here in the credits is part of Boo Buddy. Of course, JR21 is me because this map was actually published back in April. And at the time, Boo Buddy wasn't really a thing and it was just more of helping. So here's the Boo Buddy Spawn Island. There's the logo of Boo Buddy. Here's the logo of the Brick Royale. Brick Royale Heroes. Heroes is the DLC to it, which was in May. And then we got Like and Favor, of course. You know, we need that. And then check out other maps. And these are other maps by Boo Buddy Studios. And here is the Brick Spawn Island when the game starts. And there's this cool parkour. And if you complete it before the timer runs out, you get to have an advantage of free shield at the start of the match, which is pretty cool. There's these special abilities that you'll be able to obtain, which I will showcase on how. Super dashing, sprinting, healing, overshield, siphon, gravity, all amazing, super cool power-ups. Now we're getting on to the island itself. It is sideways when creating because UEFN does that, but when you start the game, it should be fine so don't freak out that it looks like this because yeah it does look pretty ugly so we got the grasslands biome i don't know if you want to count grass as a biome but whatever grasslands you got your typical town regency row which is pretty awesome then we got lunar lab which is well a lab which is pretty cool these things boost you like crazy i might start lagging a bit but yeah that it, there is really good mobility on this map with the bouncy things and there's the grappler, which is really useful, and the special abilities. You can see there's a bouncer here, there's bouncers everywhere. The center of, I am lagging like crazy. The center of the map is Focal Fort, and this is probably my favorite POI because it's just all bouncy fun. There's a lot of bouncers, even on the walls. And it's all just like bricks, it gives that Lego vibe of a POI. Then right here we got the desert biome, we got Canyon Creek, which is pretty cool. There's like this Carrot King here, Shh, it's me, King Carrot, I'm hiding from the villains. So yeah, I know there's a misspelled in I'm, but that's just how, he, he just misspelled it, okay? We didn't misspell it, we're just doing it for character. So nobody correct me in the comments. Next up we got Withered Warground, which is pretty cool. We got a cave and there's some lava too. We got like a battle with the carrots and the broccolis. These broccolis look very depressed. <laughs> They've been having a war and they has not been going good for them. We got a junior sign which is like a reference to me I guess. JR. Nice. Now right here we got like a corruption biome which are the villains areas and a snow biome. So they're kind of like mixed together. So before there was more of the corruption, but the snow is kind of like taking over this area, which is a uh, icicle spire. Ignore my spike lags. Um, I guess my game is struggling to handle this map. So we got Shadow Streets, which is a villain area of Regency Row. So you can see it's on the opposite side, which I think is pretty cool. And then we got Snowfall Summit in the snow biome. Then we got Chili Chamber, which also has a cave, kind of like Withered War Ground. And these are where they lock up the good guys. So you can see there's a dungeon. Then we got like a Frosty Four here, which is like a mini Focal Four, which I think is pretty cool and awesome. These big mushrooms, another thing with the mobility, they launch you high. And these are the ways you could get on top of the floating island. So in case if you're wondering, so if you bounce on this, you could get on a floating island. You could pick one of these to get onto this one and you get like crazy crazy high ground which is awesome 
Then over here we got Icicle Spire. This used to be a volcano, but the snow is causing the lava to freeze as you can see right here. So Icicle Spire is pretty cool. Then right here we got a beach party tropical type of POI. Sparkly Springs. You know, there's not that many buildings right here. Kind of like destroy like swamp type. But it is a pretty cool POI overall. I know the map is pretty small, but we got to keep it small because the loop pool is pretty limiting. So you can see that there's not that many guns. So we got to keep a small map. So it's not repetitive on the loop if it's like a big map. You know what I mean? I right, started the game and now I'm going to show you some gameplay features. Well, the special abilities to be specific. So you could see there's an ability that everybody has at the start. And that is the dash. So after you jump and press your edit slash build button. I'm on a PS5 controller right now. If I press my circle button, which is normally to build, then that's the dash. But you got to jump first. So after I jump, boom, dash. There's even this cool sound effect, which is the credits from there. That's like a wind type of sound effect, which I think is pretty cool. And yeah, you could just keep dashing. And yeah, sometimes there could be a mess up where if you don't perform it well, you got time it right. So just practice with that if it's your first time. But that's the custom dash ability. So you will need to pick your drop spot. I picked the grassland, so we're by the grass area. And I'm going to land in Regency Row. And if you check on the map, there are these crown icons. Now, these are where you will get the power-ups. So, if it's purple, it's in the corruption area. So, that means it's on the floating island here. It's not under it. So, keep that in mind. And, yeah, you're going to have to wait. Because I don't want people to just dive on them right away. You want them to loot up and then try to get them. So, you can see they're going to spawn in 50 seconds. Now, these coins that I just got, they're just XP. So I got some pizza, which is pretty cool. This bow actually does a lot of damage. I believe it's 130, but it's kind of hard to aim. All right, they have spawned. You can see that's how they look like. So when I obtain it, there's going to be a cool sound effect. I love that sound effect. And I got Super Siphon 100. So when I eliminate somebody, which is just me, I'm going to get 100 health or shield instead of the typical 50. Some power-ups can stack, so for example, if I get the health power-up and then the siphon, they can both stack, but not all of them, just to keep it balanced. So I'm about to get another one. If it stays as siphon, that means I got it again and I got unlucky, basically. But I'm gonna get it, but now I got super healing, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna damage myself, showcase. You can see I am healing one every second. That is super healing. Now we got super gravity. Super gravity is pretty insane. Basically, your gravity's low. And you can go flying if you hit this. Like, look at this, guys. You could dash. You could even dash again if you press your jump button and try performing it again. But this, this is pretty cool. The dashing is very useful and spices up the gameplay a ton. There is this thing that is nighttime mode. And. It basically changes the water into green. So if you know Grim Gate in Chapter 5, the water was green. Well, it did turn red later, but you know what I mean. And you could stack up on like normal Fortnite dashes. So you could have multiple dashes at once, which is definitely going to spice up the gameplay even more. And only a 25% chance that nighttime mode can happen. And it actually makes the map look pretty different and more vibrant. And I'll showcase that when the timer goes down. So you can see like the purple stuff is more glowing. Even the mushrooms, for example. And it just looks, it looks cool. You know what I mean? Even the trees and everything. Look at that. Even the, the floating islands at the bottom. They all got like this cool glow effect. Even the ice and everything. It's just so cool, man. That's going to be it for the showcase of Brick Royale. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And play the map. The code is on the screen. Or you could just search up JR21, which is like my creator name. And then, boom, you'll see it right there. See you in the next one. Peace out.